Joe. You'll find cigars in the lower drawer. Well? Well, what? Well, how do I look? You're surely not going to wear that outfit. Well, certainly. Why, well, Bill, I wore it just to please you. It's going to look swell in the cafeteria. Cafeteria? Oh, I ordered a table for us at the Cordon Rouge. I'm sorry, but 30 minutes is as long as this desk can spare me for dinner this evening. Oh. If I had any pride, I'd go right home. Instead of that, here I am chasing you. Do you know any other girls who would? Thousands. <laughs> then why don't you get yourself one? How can I, with you snooping around all the time? <laughs> How would you like to have your eyes scratched out? Hello? Oh, Miss Carla. Fine, I'm glad you called. Suppose we have dinner together this evening. Caught on rouge, fine, fine. <laughs> Goodbye. I thought you were having dinner with me. Now, Joe, you know I wouldn't do this if it weren't very important. All I know is that you've broken your promise to me. Why must I always keep reminding you that there's a war well, going on? Of course, on? I wasn't good enough to take to the Cordon Rouge. You were too busy. A cafeteria was all you could offer me. But the minute that, that Venus of the Russian Steps calls, you have the time and the inclination. But my dear... All right, all right, go ahead. I don't have to throw myself away on you. I'm still young. I I'm beautiful. I'll go where I'm appreciated. Well, I'm sorry, but you must understand I can't neglect any possibility. Of course not. I never met the man yet that could. We'll order dessert later. Yes, sir. I suppose, Lieutenant, you've been wondering why I asked her to take you to dinner. I rather cherished the hope that it was because you uh, wanted to have dinner with me. I wanted to talk to you, Lieutenant, about a very serious matter. Yes? Yeah? This afternoon in your office, one of your men brought in a beauty circular. I couldn't help seeing it. Well? Would you tell me where you found that circular? At the post office. Addressed to you. Oh. Thank you. I feel better now. Lieutenant. The day that Major Brennan was killed. Oh, hello. Surprised to see me? No. Aren't you dancing too? No. Chatty fellow, isn't he? Oh, I forgot you two don't know each other. May I present Lieutenant Gordon, Captain Niederstein? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, allow me, uh, uh, Miss Kurloff, Miss Carter, the matron, you remember? This is her night off. Oh, uh, Captain Niederstein. Oh, hello, Uncle John. Oh, hello, Joel. Gordon? Captain? Uh, Miss Kurloff. Mr. Carter. So this do? is where you fight the war, eh? Colonel Penroff and I just came from a late ordnance conference. Captain Niederstein, His Excellency has just called you, sir. Now, would you be good enough to return immediately? Thank you. What? I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid I have no choice. May I take you home? You certainly may not. I just left home. Well, I shall be back as soon as I can. But well, don't hurry on my account. I'm among friends. Well, forgive me, and au revoir. This war is getting to be a nuisance, isn't it? Oh, Uncle John, why don't you ask Colonel What's-His-Name to come over here and we all five could be together? He wouldn't mind, would he? Uh, well, we'd better go back to my table. Uh, you'll excuse us, won't you? Oh. Mm. Always glad to excuse anyone who wants to go back to his own table. You're not fooling anyone. That meant me. 